All right, I want you guys to go uh, support Piston Mike. Y'all go to the subscribe button. He at 480 right now. Let's get him to 1,000, 100,000, 500,000, million subscribers as soon as possible, Ben. Let's help him put it down. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. If you like the Pistons, you want to support me, think about sending me a donation. The uh, best way you can help me right now is go subscribe over to Piston Mike and go uh, help him get his numbers up, putting in work, hard work, smart work, dedicated work, consistent work. So make sure you go over there and appreciate that work. So remember the name is Piston Mike and I have a link in the description. If you have a problem uh, finding it on YouTube, it'll be under source link or Piston Mike channel link in the description. Peace. All right. The Detroit Rams and Matthew Stafford did it. They won the Super Bowl. I mean, I hope that banner go really high in Ford Field. Um, shout out to Kelly Stafford and Matthew Stafford. They won the Super Bowl. Um, uh, they did what they were supposed to do. I mean, I, I, you look at they, um, you look at their uh, team. People said, "Well, Cooper Cup, Odell was injured. Well, that's football. Injuries happen, but you still have three ba first ballot Hall of Famers on the field. That is a fact. You still have three first ballot." People act like Stafford went to Indianapolis. I'm like, okay, even though Indianapolis is a good football team, I'm like, okay. You know, this core, this team went to the Super Bowl with Jared Goff. We see what Jared Goff is. Let's talk about y'all. Detroit Lions talk playlist. Time to the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And if this don't motivate the, the Fords and the Detroit Lions organization to go out there and and, and put a winner on the field, um, I, don't, I don't know what's going to order. Uh, what's going to do it? I think. The Detroit Lions, you walk in the mall and you see people wearing Rams, Stafford jerseys. And we pretty much had a, a glimpse of that with Ver Justin Verlander. We knew that was going to happen. Uh, we knew that was going to happen with Justin Verlander, bro. After we seen Verlander getting all this love and people rooting for Verlander. And, you know, we knew it was going to happen with, with Stafford. All right. Even though Verlander won the pennant, and you know they got their bats got cold in in the World Series, this this gave us a, a, a it gave us a glimpse into what they was gonna do for Stafford. Is it a color thing? Absolutely, it's a color thing. You know, you know, was people rooting for you know, was it the fans rooting for for Barry to move on and be happy? No, man. I remember as a kid, these very same fans turned on Barry Sanders. Right, same thing with Calvin Johnson. You know, he still ain't got his money to our knowledge yet. So yes, it's always it's always something to do with that. And Matthew ain't never had to beg for a penny from Detroit. You know, Stafford, I mean Sue did. Calvin Johnson did. Barry had to fight to keep his money as well, too. But you know, at the same time, it is what it is. Just let you give you a glimpse into the into into the into Detroit Lions. Detroit, the Lions are not a Detroit team. You know what I'm saying? They are not a Detroit team, bro. I go back and forth in inner city of Detroit. I didn't see nobody wearing uh, Matthew Stafford Rams jersey, Detroit Lions Rams shirts. You see a few females. We don't count them because a lot of them don't know nothing about football. I'm not saying females don't. I'm just seeing a lot. No. Majority of them, they just go. It's a Super Bowl or throw something on them. You know, I don't mean to generalize, but I did. It is what it is. I stand on what I said. But you know, that, that is what it is. You know, and am I happy for him? Absolutely. Shout out to Stafford. But I'm not, it's not a Stafford thing. It's the fan base thing. The same fan base that, uh, and these are people that live outside of Detroit area. A few of them come from the metro Detroit area, but the majority of them, you know, lives outside, live outside the, the Detroit area. They come from, uh, northern the west side of the state, they come from Monroe, they come from the upper, I don't even know, upper peninsula and up there. They they really go for uh, they really root for um, the Packers and stuff like up there. But you know, Traverse City, Grand Rapids, you know, stuff like that. They you know the 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 majority of the, the people that support at Fort Field they are white. That's just what it is. They are white. You know, and and that's who that's who that's who keeps the Ford's lights on. The inner city, the Detroit inner city, they don't keep the light, they don't keep the lights on. 
that we don't. We don't we don't support the line. We you know it's a love there, but we don't support the tomfoolery because they don't they never embrace the city. See how the Pistons embrace the city with the ice cam and this, that, and third. You know, I ain't how they embrace the city. The Lions have never embraced the inner city. They threw some money around, but nothing like that. But not to get off 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 topic. Um, but um, it's just the disgust. You know, it's like you know, it's just the disgust of, of the fan base and the expectations. Like I said, this is worse than going on sixteen. One thing to root for them, but to put the Detroit Rams on your shirt, this is this is disgusting. Only thing this is not as disgusting is, and it's not a Stafford thing. Let me say that it's not personal. It's not a Stafford thing. People want to make it a Stafford thing. It's not a Stafford thing. It's a it's a it's a fan base thing. Could you imagine if Isaiah, if somebody went to Boston and we see him, Detroit Celtics? Come on, you imagine people, people even if, what if Grant would have been healthy and went to Orlando and won a championship? Would people be wearing, would Piston fans be wearing Detroit Magic jerseys? I'm embarrassed to be part of this fan base. I'm embarrassed. You know, it wasn't even no Houston, Detroit Astro shirts and jerseys like this, bro. And I know, you know, NF, MLB in this day of time pales in comparison as far as popularity as the National Football League. Or college at this point, NCAA F football. It's crazy to me. I'm not embarrassed at Stafford. I'm embarrassed at the inconsistency. And these be the same people who try to go out here and 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 and, 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 and they get mad. All oh, the lines. I mean, they give you these surveys when you're a season ticket holder. What do you want to see improved in your four field experience? And they say we want a winner. These are the same people that that older than me. Been going through this cycle 40, 50, 60 years that the cycle is they have a disappointing season. The offseason come. That's why my numbers go up in offseason. You selling hope. The offseason come, you sell hope. You tell people that talk about the draft and you do the mocks, you do these mock free agencies and you say everything going to be okay. Mm-hmm. And tell people that it's going to be a great season. And then by the time week five come, you find out they trash. And then you redo the cycle again. No other sport sales hope in the offseason like the National Football League in America. You know. So it's not a staffer. It's not personal. Stafford can't help that Barry Calvin got treated a certain way. And, you know. He he was a goody two shooters. So it's not about Stafford. It's not about his wife Kelly. You know he didn't even win the MVP. Okay, um, I was surprised that Cooper Cup won the MVP. I turned it off soon as soon as the last drive, and I said I turned it off because all they're gonna do is just suck him down. Pause. That's what they're gonna do. Only thing worse than this would be Aaron Rodgers winning the MVP, going to win the Super Bowl. I'd rather deal with Stafford winning it, bashing Detroit even more. Even, even though they act like Stafford went to the uh, the Seattle Seahawks and won it, or he went out there to the Chargers and won it, or he went to Houston and won it, or he went to the you know uh, uh, you know he went to the Miami Dolphins and won it, or the, the Jets. You know what I'm saying? He went to a situation who had been contending for Super Bowls. They won a playoff game with a quarterback with a broken thumb last year. They had an opportunity to win another. Then you add Von Miller. So that's two Hall of Famers, two first battle Hall of Famers in the D line, Aaron Donald, Von Miller. And you got a first battle Hall of Famer in the back end and Jalen Ramsey. Even if Odell went down, Higgs B went down, which I don't rate him high anyway. You still had Cam. You got Darrell Henderson back. You still got Cooper Cup, who was by far the best receiver in football. Uh, Stafford helped him establish that. So, I mean, you're talking about you got Stafford, who, who, who's a first battle Hall of Famer now. His numbers say so. He can retire today. He's a first battle Hall of Famer. Cooper Cup, he's the number one uh, receiver in the league right now, regardless of scheme. You know, he showed yesterday no, uh, no, no 
It's no defense can hold him down. You know, regardless of that, Cooper Cup's the best receiver, and Matthew Stafford pushed the ticket to the Hall of Fame. But the disgust comes from the fan base. And this is more embarrassing going to 0-16. This, this, nothing can be more embarrassing than a Ford ownership since 1957, one playoff win. Nothing's more embarrassing than that. But it's up there with that. And this continues to show the low expectations of the Detroit Lions fan base, or Detroit Lions in general. This is as close as they know they will get to being a Super Bowl contender, champ, a winner. And it's sad. I feel bad for Cincinnati because they won't make it back. And what Carson Palmer said about the Cincinnati Bengals is true. Will they, you know, if Joe Burrows, you know, get an opportunity, bro, and this don't happen again, his contract got up, get out of there. Or you're going to be like Dan Marino, show no loyalty. You and Jamar Chase, somebody take both of y'all. Cincinnati will not be back in this position. Every year the Super Bowl winner has crashed, Super Bowl loser crashes the next season. Cincinnati will not be back with that core, or not be back with Chase and, and Burrow. And they think they'll be back. They're young. We'll be back. They will not be back. Say that. But shout out to Cooper Cup. I thought Stafford would have got it, but uh, mm -hmm. but it's not a Stafford thing. It's not personal. Happy for him. Good for him. It's a Lions fan base. And then what really grinds my nerves are the, the black football fans and you know, these the same black people who have an issue with everything that happens every time something happened on the street with police or, you know, whatever's going on in Ben Harbor and Flint. But then, you know, they're selective black. And that, that bothers me. Either you all in or you all out. There's no one foot in and one foot out. Shake it all about. So like I said before, um, congratulations to them. Well for our game. Um, was it some home cooking at the end? They at home. Even though there's a road team, they at home. They were going to make sure they won. Why Cooper Cup look like Jake Paul? <laughs> they are going to make sure they won. It is what it is. Uh, but let's not act like he went to Cleveland. He didn't win a Super Bowl. He went to Philadelphia. He didn't win a Super Bowl. He went to the Washington Commanders and won a Super Bowl. He went to the, the Patriots and followed Tom Brady and won a Super Bowl. He did not. He went... Joe Burroughs had an uphill battle, and he was in it to win it until they started calling dumb players again. He was in it to win it. So, like I said before, you know, Burroughs won't be back in the situation. I expect Rams to be in the mix next year, depending on the salary cap. They said they're working on extension for Stafford. They got to pay a lot of people. But like I said before, looking at um, this, it's not a Stafford thing. I'm trying to show us a fan base things and. It's one. It's the most pathetic. It's the most pathetic fan base in football. This is worse than Jacksonville not coming out to Jaguar games. This is one. Of, this is one of the worst. This is worse than the same fans wearing uh, uh, paper bags. This fan base is is is, is terrible. Um, it's the worst in sports history that I can think of. All right, it's worse than than the individual fanatic fan bases. You know, like I said, you didn't see that with the Tigers with them wearing Detroit Astro. I don't remember. Let me know if you remember that in the comments. I don't remember that. Like I said, MLB, you know, it's nowhere near the NFL as far as popularity. And it's like I said, it's not personal. It's the fan base. And when you say what we put up, you have a mem banners when you put up our quarterback on the Super Bowl or we won the uh, – we beat Aaron Rodgers one time in the year, you know. It's crazy. And if the force never um, fix it now, it won't be fixed. You know, if in the fan base is showed, they will always come back. Like a boomerang. So, yeah, I'm more disappointed in the fan base going overboard like this. But um, I say congratulations to him, um, to the Rams. And um, I said, yeah, they got some home cooking at the end. But who cares? That's football. That's why that's what the human element is about. And the, the Bengals got away with a few things too. But um, you know, we knew the home team wasn't gonna lose, right? So check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Uh, other than that, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video quest, all my social media links, description, Twitter's the fastest way, and Facebook and Instagram. If you want to make a financial donation? If I didn't say so, dollar sign, cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal, the description. Appreciate the love, support. Peace.